All right, guys, so I am not sure if I am excited or totally creeped out right now because I just was looking at a website called Bloody Disgusting and I see where NECA, the toy company, has just released or at least made available for pre-orders a Megan doll. NECA just made a life-size Megan doll that you can purchase for $500. This is a one-to-one -one scale. That means it is a full-size prop, supposed to be the exact same size as the actual girl who played Megan in the movie Megan. And I'm talking about this movie right here. Yes, it is a totally awesome movie. I love it. It's kind of like Chucky. And I've even seen things online about them coming out with a Chucky versus Megan movie, which is probably fake. But I don't know. I think that would be pretty cool. So let's take a look at this here for a minute, guys, because it's pretty interesting. NECA just made a life-size Megan doll that you can purchase for $500. This is a first look at the Megan doll. I also have the NECA website pulled up. We're going to take a better look at it in just a second, but let's just go ahead and read a little bit of this. It says, while you wait for the Killer Dolls upcoming sequel, it's headed to theaters in May 2025, so next year. Blumhouse and NECA have joined forces to create a screen-accurate life-size Megan doll. Now, at first glance, that sounds pretty dang cool. Full disclosure, we thought this announcement was an April Fool's Day joke, but it's now April 2nd, today is April 3rd, and the pre-order is still available. It's real and it's creepy. And like I said, I looked on a NECA website and the pre-order is still up. So this is not an April Fool's joke. This is a real thing and it's creepy. The cost $494.99. Now I could continue reading here, but I just want to jump on over to the actual NECA site because they have a lot of pictures of this. So again, this is a one-to-one -one replica life-size Megan doll available for pre-order right now for $494.99, just under $500. Own a fully posable life-size replica of the robot doll from the hit film Megan. The Model 3 generative android was designed to be a parent's greatest ally and programmed to be a child's best friend. But a self-aware doll with a life of its own can lead to sinister consequences. <laughs> so this says this is completely based on the exact measurements and size and shape of the Megan from the movie. But I'm going to tell you right now, looking at the picture of it right here, and just looking at the picture on the cover of the DVD, that does not look the same. She looks much skinnier on this website. Now, also, if we take a look at the back here, you can see she's a little chunkier than what they have here as the actual um, doll that they're gonna sell. I mean, they appear to have the clothes right, the hair is right, the face is right, but yeah, I mean, in real life, or at least in the movie, she's a little shorter, a little chunkier. The doll here appears to be pretty skinny. So we've got this picture here, the first picture they're showing us. We can roll down and we have another picture here with a white background. Keep on rolling and wow, I mean, she definitely does look creepy. Look at the jawline on there. They definitely got that right because it definitely looks like a robot head. We can keep on scrolling down. We get another view from the other side. She is super creepy and for some reason, I love the shoes. <laughs> the shoes make her so much creepier. Oh my gosh. There's a picture from the back. Yeah, just a little too skinny for me. And then there's a picture um, of what the doll looks like standing by, I don't know, a regular sized person, I guess. This fantastically accurate replica doll stands approximately 55 inches tall and will be an excellent addition to any family, I bet. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, if we kind of put a side by side up here, you can see where the doll itself, just to me at least, looks super skinny compared to the doll that was actually in the movie. I will say one thing though, I'm glad that they didn't put any blood on the doll. I don't even think that it needs it. It's creepy enough as it is because that thing standing in the corner of my office right here, I would constantly be like looking over to see if it's coming to kill me. So I mean I do think that it's really cool 
that they're making this available. It's nothing that I would order because that would make me look super creepy, first of all. <laughs> but yeah, I am glad that they're putting this out. I think it's a totally awesome horror prop. Now, I know that for the most part, we only talk about like Spirit Halloween stuff. I'm not aware that she's going to be made available at Spirit Halloween. We might find that out later on. But with a price tag of $500, I really don't think so. Usually what you can get in Spirit Halloween that would be comparable, that would be like the Annabelle doll or the Chucky doll, I mean, it's under $100. So I highly doubt they're ever going to put a $500 non-animatronic doll in their store. Pretty cool, though, and I was pretty blown away to see this news today. It actually makes me want to go and watch the movie now. And the funny thing is I bought this movie when it first came out. I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in the original plastic. I thought I bought 4K. This is just a Blu-ray. What the crap? I thought I bought a 4K. I'm suing somebody. All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to take a quick look here at this new Megan doll. It's pretty cool. And like I said, you know, unless it just looks like that in the pictures, she looks a little bit too skinny for me to be able to accept her as an actual replica of the Megan from the movie. That's it, guys. Stay tuned. We got lots of awesome stuff coming, and I have a feeling that this Halloween season is going to be the best yet.